Scrob, you're a link dared to ask me to hand over my pre-war books, as if I'd actually give her my most valuable ammunition. She and her people died for that. I like to think Arthur the Aardvark was looking to- <laughs> This is so dumb. I like to think Arthur the Aardvark was looking down on me from heaven with pride as I killed them all inside the library, because he was right the entire time. Having fun isn't hard if you have a library card. Once I got the ink sack, I returned to Buttons. He made me a forgery. I used his terminal to unseal all the locks, took the real Declaration of Independence for myself, and traveled to Rivet City to claim my prize. My hubris and desire to commit petty crimes came back and bit me in the fanny. Abraham took both the forgery and the real document. I'd have killed him, but violence is not the answer today. You see, I woke up Thomas Jefferson in the basement before I left the National Archive, and his prime directive is to protect democracy. Abraham Washington will taste the cold metal arm of justice one day. From there, it was back to the business of finding my father. But here's the thing about this playthrough. You already know how the main quest line's gonna go down. I have a weapon that does damage. Of course it's possible to finish the game with it. There are only so many ways I can explain the same things over and over again. Which is why, instead, I'm gonna focus on all the weird sh** I did to entertain myself while I played Fallout 3 and listened to a podcast about aliens abducting and f***ing people. In the future of VR that Zuckerberg wants for us all, I summoned the Chinese and tried to turn children into communists by force. When that didn't work, I turned Bronze Eternal Nightmare into a memorial for Achievement City by recreating the Field of Giants as best I could. In Rivet City, I started changing every person I saw on the molecular level. Madison Lee became a man, Dad became a giant woman, Garza became a monster, Mrs. Father sacrificed himself to kill Colonel Pumpkin Spice, and we escaped into the tunnels. Knowing that in a few minutes Lee would be nagging about wanting to save Garza from a panic attack, I took precautionary measures by killing him and the other scientists. Then I 